NinjaTrader makes a ton of different options available from a free version to get started to a paid. However, today we're strictly talking about the free offering. Okay? It seems to have confused a lot of people about what's free, how long is it free for, and all that stuff. So today we're going to introduce you to the NinjaTrader ecosystem from a free user's point of view, and we're going to make it make a whole lot more sense. So stay tuned. So when you head to ninjatrader.com, you're expecting to download the NinjaTrader platform and don't worry, you will. The first box usually on their screen is asking you for your email so that they can give you some live data, okay? So it's probably what you want is you want the platform for free, right? So that's fine. Everything about the NinjaTrader platform is going to be free except for one thing and that one thing will require you to buy a license. Now that one thing is, is that you cannot place a live trade into a broker. Okay. You can place a demo trade into a demo account, but you cannot place a trade directly into a broker. You can place a trade that's manually put into your broker by going to your broker's platform, typing the trade and using Ninja Trader 8 for your technical analysis. So you can do that. Um, it's similar how people might want to do it with a, a web-based charting technical analysis platform, and then they place their orders in with their broker. Okay, so it, it's just separate. All you're paying for when you pay for Ninja Trader is that connection between their software and your broker, as long as it's one of their supported ones. So uh, you can totally use it for free otherwise, and it does not expire. Now that is the platform. The next thing that is equally important to consider is your data. So if you want charts to be visible with quotes and, and candlesticks and all that Bearish. stuff, you need a RTP data provider. Okay. So two. they provided you with a charting platform. Now you need a data provider. So that's what puts all the, the candlesticks on your screen and all that stuff. So if you've Bearish. seen a ETP blank chart one. and you haven't figured out why it's most likely to do with your data connection not being set up. So we're going to break this down to two categories. The first category, you have stock traders, futures traders, and bond traders. Okay. The second category is going to be Forex traders and cryptocurrency traders. The reason for the split is because as you know, crypto and Forex do not run on a central exchange where stocks, futures, and bonds do, right? You have like the CME. So they are going to run that exchange. In order to run that exchange, they have to charge money because they're, they're a business, right? So you always have to pay data fees for your future stocks and, and bonds and all that stuff, right? So that is going to be one possibility. You cannot get free unlimited futures data. However, we do have a video that shows you how to get non-professional data for pretty cheap. I believe it was $1 a month going up until 2019. I believe 2019 was a, was a cutoff, where it's now became $2 a month. Um, of course, depending on the provider, I think some of them might even go three or four, but it, it's cheap, right? If you can't afford $2 to $4 a month for data, you probably shouldn't be trading, right? So especially futures, but that's going to be uh, a link that's in the description below if you want to know how to get that data for cheap. And by the way, if you do go to our page with all of our videos on our channel, all the blue ones are going to be NT8 tutorials. So you might want to check that out after watching this one. Um, so let's kind of layer this information uh, so far for futures, stocks, and bond traders. So first you're going to download NinjaTrader. During the signup, it's going to say, basically, I'll paraphrase here, hey, do you want a two-week free trial for futures data? In which case, you will say yes, and it's going to be emailed to the email address that you put in before the screen. Then you download the platform, okay? Check the email address for the account, and then run NinjaTrader for the first time, and you're going to see a data connection wizard that opens up that you can input this account information into. If not, go into your control center, which is the main NinjaTrader 8 window, go to your connections and then configure and you can add in a connection there. The instructions to do this will be emailed to you when you say, yes, I want the free data. So what you have now is a free version of NT8 that you can use for your analysis or demo trading uh, for in two weeks of uh, free data. Okay, after the free data, then you have to go to the non-pro fee data, which is gonna be about $2 a month, right? Video in the description. 
Now, for those of you who trade Forex in crypto, okay, so you're a bit different because you don't run off an exchange. So Forex data is free, and so is crypto data. You probably guessed that, right? So you will have to download the platform, say yes if you want the free data for Forex, and then you'll get an account sent to you, which is done through FXCM. So FXCM provides you a free data link into their Forex feed, right? And you will set that up the same way by going to NT8 main screen, connections and then configure so just a warning this is where things get a little sketchy with new traders marketing i've made this very clear to our contacts there uh, multiple people and it hasn't changed but whatever i'm going to let you guys know about it. the fxcm data that you got is good for 30 days that's what it says on their website but it never expires it will keep working after that over and over and over again okay while you're on that 30 days ninja trader is going to send you an email saying hey you want to keep your free data open up an account with us deposit a thousand bucks let's just say i don't know what the number is and you can keep that free data so a lot of people freak out and they go oh my god i don't want to lose my data and let me get free data i'll put a thousand bucks in the account, let it sit there and I'll be able to get free data. You don't have to do that, okay? FXCM's account does not expire. If you don't believe me, wait the 30 days, okay? On the 31st day, the 32nd day, it's gonna keep working. I've had the same account for, for years. So by all means, keep that data. You don't have to pay for Forex data, it's free. It's on an exchange, or it's not on exchange and you shouldn't have to pay for it. So fxcm is providing it for free you can get paid forex data but you don't need to it's no different than the fxcm one so save your money go with the fxcm one and then you'll be able to use your data um, forever and it's not going to expire now during this process you might have started a demo account unlike some platforms that demo account is not held with fxcm it's not held with ninja trader it's actually located on your computer so if you had reformatted your computer or something that demo account gets erased unless you backed it up so we're going to do a video showing you how to back up and restore that that demo account so make sure you subscribe and it will come out um and uh if you want to learn how to do that so just remember that they can't take your demo account away from you that's that's held locally so you don't have to worry about that disappearing uh, it is a good idea to back up the file that's going to contain your demo account and we'll show you how to do that in that video so again subscribe and uh, you'll get notified for that so that's all you need to know the ninja trader 8 software platform is free for demo trading or technical analysis with no end date the data for futures lasts two weeks and then after that you'll have to start paying probably as little as like two bucks a month for non-pro fees. Uh, if you have any questions about that, by all means, type them in below. Uh, if you trade Forex or crypto, you're gonna be able to use that forever. So don't worry about the 30 days, it keeps working. I suspect the reason why that's in there is because if FXCM ever wanted to pull out of their partnership with NinjaTrader, then they just have to give people 30 days because uh, that's what their account was and that there is an end date attached to it um, but it will keep working for you forever um, feel free come back after 30 days and let people know that i mean it is going to keep working for you so um, if this has helped and helped you explain to you uh, what the free platform of NinTrader is and how it all works uh, feel free to whack that thumbs up button we also have a ton of other videos on NinTrader 8 tutorials and you can see them on our channel. All the blue ones are tutorials, right? All the green ones are gonna be our XABCD pattern software if you want to check that out. And all the yellow ones, well, those are special. So uh, go find them and start learning.